my name is Tanya and I'm a photographic artist. The goal with this project is to describe the relationships between water and the earth and the life that it supports. The project title is Ebb and Flow, so it's the ebb and flow of the tide, the ebb and flow of the seasonal rains and how it impacts life. We are in Darwin, specifically at the Aviation Museum and getting ready to fly this afternoon. A lot of the places that I shoot are not accessible by road. Helicopters can go up and down and I don't need to take five lenses into a chopper. The relationships between water and the landscape and the vegetation is just so perfectly described from the air. You can see everything, how they all connect together, how the water impacts the arid regions and the desert. It tells a better story than what I can tell from the ground. The process for a new location for me is quite technical because it's so expensive to fly and travel such great distances. If you get one bite of the cherry, you can't go back the next day just because you're already there. You only get a particular tide once a year. So for me, I research what I believe is the best tide for that particular site, which will usually only happen once a year. I use a program that updates its satellite imagery fairly regularly. Interesting shapes is usually what gets me first, so if it's got interesting shapes and good colour with those shapes, I work out whether it's logistically possible to get to and not going to cost me tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for aerial images that make people think about what they're looking at. I don't want them to know what it is and I want them to consider what they're looking at and I want them to see things in the images that I don't see. I want them to make a personal connection that's relevant to them. This height, you happy with this height or? I, I think so. I'll see what it looks like. I might need to get higher to get the blue in, but we'll yep. see. Yeah. When the water recedes, I love the, the lines that the water makes as it goes out. I love the drag and the eddy lines in the water. I love the ripples, the waves in reverse and, and the way that they pull things out. A reveal of like epic proportion. And then the contrast in the water that just, it shouldn't be there. It looks like when you tip a paint palette out onto a canvas and, and it just creates something different every time. It's, it's never ever the same. Using the GFX has completely changed my workflow. It's simplified it. The resolution is absolutely outstanding. To be able to zoom in and see every leaf on the tree, it's not pixelated. So to compose and, and know that I've got the frame in the sky rather than trying to stitch everything and hope that I didn't miss a section when I get home just to chase pixels is fantastic. I'm really happy with the images so far. They're absolutely different. They're different from anything that I've shot. I'm not just in my groove, like it's been a challenge, which is good because it challenges produce better and new work and I probably define your style as an artist more than something that you're constantly producing and you're comfortable with because then it's a job. It's, not, it's nice to be passionate about a project and be challenged and then happy with producing something new that no one's seen before.